Hello! How the fuck you doing? Hey guys, Dfield here bringing you another Factions Let's Play episode. Alright guys, so for this episode today we are going to show you how to build our massive um, iron golem farm. We actually haven't really um, collected enough money yet to buy all of these spawners, but I think we have like one or two right now. So we'll be able to start up and show you guys how we're building it. It used to be right here, but we decided to move it and uh, use our base more effectively so we can max out our farm. So uh, yeah, so this is the basic layout of it. It's good. It's literally gonna be. So what you're gonna want to do? So if this is your chest level, right? So pretend. Let's pretend that these are my chests. Hold on. Let's line these up. So if these are my chests. So this is level one. Let's say the chest. This bottom level that I'm pointing as level one. So this is two, three, four. Wait. So one, two. Why does it keep doing that? One, two, three, four, five. So your iron golem farm is going to be five high, like you need at least five block spaces going up on the base floor. So that's five, and then six, seven, eight, at least nine blocks high for an efficient iron golem farm, guys, all right? So nine blocks high, remember that. We're actually, Matthew, I think we're going to actually extend the roof another one block, so it gives them more um, airspace. I'm going to just break this block for now. So what you're basically going to do is, so you mark out your room, like ours is going to be this large, but honestly yours can just be like, a, can be like this big, like this room from that wall to that wall, and it still will be very efficient. Um, you know, it doesn't have to be this large, we just want to make it really large because we're planning on having such a massive farm. So um, yeah, if you guys want it, to, it's basically, you guys can customize it to your needs and um, your, basically how much money you can spend. So um so if this is our bl the bl uh, I can't even talk. This is the back viewing wall, and from the back viewing wall, you're gonna want to count eight blocks because we're gonna have water sources all along this bottom wall, which will basically push the uh, the iron golems all the way going down into a lava pit that we'll have over here. So if we count this out, it's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Matthew, why is there only seven? So. We made a mistake already. We need to move this entire. It's not yeah, it is. Look, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So we need to move this entire glass wall back. Matthew, you made a mistake already. All right, so we'll do that off camera later, so we we don't have to make this video too long. I just wanted to get another tutorial video of you guys for you faction players out there. So basically, imagine this glass wall is another step back. So then this is eight going across. So. It's going to be eight going across that way, and then I'm going to dig this roof one more as well later. But I don't I don't really want to show you guys that because that's all the boring stuff. But Matthew, do you have any buckets of water? No. So, okay, so what you guys are going to need for this build basically is glass. You're going to need some glass. You're going to need um, a lot of chests. Um, you're going to need some hoppers for the bottom, and then you're going to need a lot of signs. So I'm going to make a small portion of the sign to the side. Matthew, you can keep continue doing it on that side, and then I'll just like make a small section over here for the one spawner that we do have. So let's make, I'm just going to mark this out real quick. Uh, da, da, da. Um, just, just continue, just continue doing, what are you doing? Just leave it, dude, just leave it. I need them to be able to see. Stop interfering. Just go. Just go do what you need to do. I told you. Okay, hold on. So we need to make some hoppers and some... The server is still lagging. We're recording this the same day that the previous video went out on, so we haven't really fixed much yet. Uh, <clears throat> Alright, so let's make some chests. Where's our crafting tables, Matthew? Uh, do slash it's right there. So let's get some chests on here. So you're going to need these chests for obviously collecting all of the iron stuff, iron ingots, iron bars, and then you're going to need uh, the signs, or you're going to need to make some hoppers as well to um, have them funneled. So this is our old iron golem farm here, and as you can see we already have some iron ingots here. And to make a hopper, you basically take a chest and then surround it in like a V shape. So you put a chest in the middle. And then you take the iron ingots in a V shape like that, and then you make your hoppers. So I'll just use 13 hoppers for now. <clears throat> so what you're gonna want to do is, so let's 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 say our our farm was only two chests wide, guys. So these two chests, okay? So you're gonna want to take the hoppers 
and connect them via like you're gonna shift click onto the chest like this and then shift click onto those hoppers right there so then they collect into that section and then just have those connect to one of these so then there's gonna be the hoppers and then you're gonna take your signs and you're gonna put them one level above the hoppers right Matthew is it one level or is it two I think it's two to make it more efficient because if we have it here all right because if we have it here they're only gonna be standing here and then they're well yeah that's right is that right I don't remember <clears throat> I'm pretty sure that's correct yeah that's that looks right it'll be one two and then their so head going to the third, the second yeah but and we'll we'll do that off we'll do that off camera so you basically this is the main design yeah so we can't we have to dig down Matthew we're gonna have to dig down this way and actually this chest is gonna have to be moved down one so then they're so because they need enough they need enough headroom so that because iron golems are three blocks high like that's how tall they are so if um, to make an efficient lava grinder you're gonna need to have only their head portion on the actual um, on the actual lava itself because if it's uh if it's any lower than that then it's gonna just burn some of the iron ingots when they die so make sure you guys keep that in mind I honestly just forgot right now so let's fix that real quick oh my gosh it's lagging uh, I need an axe I haven't we still haven't organized our chest room so all of our stuff is still like in our storage bins over here I need an axe come on <clears throat> axe, axe, axe. Where's our axes, Matthew? Bottom left. Bottom left. There you go. So you get this axe. Take down these wings. So what I'm going to do actually for this, for our iron golem thing set up, I'm going to put the chest on the bottom here. And then I'm going to have... Hold on, how am I going to how am I gonna do this, guys? I'm kind of just going as I go. All right, so this will be connected to that, and then this will have. I I know what I'm gonna do. So this will have a bunch of hoppers going. So I'll have a chest. Oh my gosh. I'll have a chest here, which means that these two hoppers will get funneled into this, and then this will get funneled into that. All right, so basically what's going to happen is if, if I drop an item here, I can drop this for an example, it'll funnel into this, but since this is empty, it'll go into the lowest one. So see, it's in the first, the bottom most chest. So you basically repeat this pattern all the way throughout or however big your farm is. So I'm just going to do that real quick. So let's say, let's say our farm is only this wide, right? So, so then if this level is your hopper, let's fix this, fix this real quick, guys. Um, let's put. Oh, I'm gonna need another hopper, Matthew. Let's go. I'll, 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 I'll make some. Do you Do you have any? Yeah. I need like another another two. Where? Where's behind you? Oh, there it is. Wow, you have a lot already. Uh, let's mine this out real quick. So I'm gonna connect that chest with this chest. So that means like basically what's happening is it's collecting the, the items from this top chest and funneling it into the lowermost chest until all those slots are filled. And then these will go into this of course, this of course, and then here. And then this lava this these signs basically make it so that the lava doesn't um the lava doesn't fall down. Like it's like a I don't know, it's sort of like an invisible or block for the lava, and then the lava can't flow past that specific point. I don't know why the server's lagging so much, guys. We apologize for all the recent lag issues. We're trying to get it fixed to the best of our ability, but it's it's basically an incompatible jar, and it can't be updated until Craft Bucket decides to update. So it's nothing we can really do on our part. All right, so let's say our farm ended here. So let's let's block this off for the meantime. So if this is our farm, I'm gonna need some water buckets. Let me make a hole here. Uh oh, I need I need a four by four hole. Uh, boom, boom, boom. Okay, I'm gonna borrow some 
Just gonna borrow the water from our middle structure for the meantime. I need two buckets. So, two buckets. There's our bucket. Steal this water. Matthew, remind me to replace those, okay? Yeah. Make an infinite water source real quick. Alright, so now if we move to the top floor, our viewing platform, we need to Matthew, we need to move this back, remember? Okay, so I'm just gonna I'm just gonna make this um I'm just gonna make it out of stone bricks for now so we can mine it out later. Oh you got it already. It's like lagging and it looks like you're just teleporting across the room. <laughs> Alright, so basically your water source is gonna be placed on the on right against the wall. Like this. Hold on, I'm gonna need more water. Jump down. Grab more water. So yeah, you need a water source on every block so then it, it has a straight stream going out. Is this an infinite water source? Yeah, it is. So let's block this off for the meantime and pretend like we only have this big of a room. All right, so this is for you guys with the small spawner room. So let's say our spawner room is only this big. So then we're gonna need some lava. I'm actually gonna need to get more lava. There's one. I'm just gonna borrow the lava from our center room again. Remind me to replace all these, Matthew. Probably gonna end up forgetting. Lava. Lava. Okay, drop them. Just drop them to me. All right. So you're basically gonna want. Be careful. Don't jump into the lava. Have an ender pearl on you in case you do. Makes it a lot easier. What the heck? I just misplaced that. That. Put the lava down here. All right. So this is our lava trap, basically. So what it looks like is, if I was looking from down here, the iron golems will fall through. They'll their head will still be in the lava, which makes it so that they keep getting damaged, and then slow they'll slowly die, and then the iron ingots will get collected here and then put into the chest. So let, I'll show you guys what happens. So I have one iron golem spawner right now. So you're going to want to go two blocks, is it two blocks, Matthew, or three blocks above the water? Uh, I think it's three, right? Yeah, it's three. So three blocks above the water level. So let's go one, two, three. And this is why I wanted to raise the roof a little bit, because it's actually right on the roof. So there's three three blocks high. And then I'm going to mine out this roof so that it has some air space to spawn. All right, there's our first iron golem spawned. And what's going to happen is he's going to go into the lava. He's still going to keep getting burnt, but he's going to stay right here and just con just slowly die. And then, as you can see, it's going to slowly drop all of his items. And there's our first iron ingots, guys. Our farm has started and it has begun. Um, so, yeah, this is the basic pattern for the iron golem farm. As you can see, it's very easy to make. It doesn't take too many uh, supplies. We just wanted, here comes our next iron golem. We just wanted to uh, make our base look pretty, so we used stone bricks and whatnot. But, you know, you guys can use cobble. I, I don't mind using cobble. Cobble looks pretty good, actually, as a decorative um, block. But, yeah, see, the, so that um, iron golem died here. There, there's the items it dropped, and then it disappeared. And then if you can check the bottom chest, it's already down here. Five iron ingots. So yeah guys, uh, thank you guys for watching. If you enjoyed these tu tutorials, make sure you leave a comment. We'll try to make more on more future spawners when we do make them all. Um, make sure you guys like and subscribe. If you haven't already, hit that like button guys. We really appreciate it. Um, we are probably going to finish this uh, f entire farm off camera to show you guys. Are you dying, Matthew? Matthew? Okay, so Matthew just fell into the lava pit. Are you dying? No, you're good. <laughs> Did you eat a god apple to live? <laughs> okay so yeah so this is the basic farm guys it's very easy to make take your time and do and do it it's a very it's a very good investment um yes the spawner prices have raised quite a bit but as you can see it's very easy to get money in this um <clears throat> in this new faction so uh take the time and do it guys uh thank you for watching make sure you like and subscribe once again and uh this is d field and insanity and we will see you guys later